Let's draw a cactus. Start with a rectangle, which will be the trunk. Use the eyedropper to change it to green. Use the selection tool to make the top corner rounded. Click on the bottom corner and nudge it to the right. Nudge the other side to the left. Make the bottom rounded by using the pen tool. Option click and drag, then pull it downward. Create a little distortion with the direct select tool. Draw another rectangle. This will be a highlight. Make it a little lighter. Delete the bottom left corner. Move it over to the left side. Option click drag to make a copy. Use the reflect tool to flip it horizontally. Change it to a darker green. Move it into a place that feels right for a shadow. With the Shape Builder tool, cut off the top and bottom overlapping edges. Using the Pencil tool, make the right and left branches. Select the left branch, convert the stroke to outlines, so we can also distort it. Next, use the pen tool to draw a quick shadow on the lower side. Make another to be the highlight on the upper side. Do the same thing for the other branch. Use the Ellipse tool to make a branch shadow. Color it black. Opacity, 10%. Rotate it and move it into place as needed. Send it back to behind the branch, but in front of the trunk. With the pencil tool, make a small line, stroke 14. Use the width profile 4, so it's pointed. Make a copy and paste it. These will be the thorns or spines. Move it into place. Make copies. Rotate and move the spines around to cover the cactus. You can also use the reflect tool to quickly create opposites. Let's speed this up a bit. Try to avoid symmetry. Randomly place them again if you see patterns. That's how you make a cactus in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this, please subscribe for future uploads.